Hi everyone, this is Damara and the truth testament that I've been asked to give to you today is number 32. I was going to say again um, the advice that maybe for some people it is better to close your eyes and to listen to the sound of my voice and not try and understand the words. I mean, the, the words are very simple, but these are channeled messages that I received from August last year until right about August this year. And they are given in a certain resonance and vibration. So for some, it's so much better for them to let this just be accepted and absorbed into their being. And that's what happens when you listen to the sound of the voice and not the words. I'm just going to give you a little bit of an explanation about how I was given this advanced awareness exercise of listening to the sound of the voice and not the words. This was from a mystery school that I went to. I'm trying to think when this was. I have to think about how old my um, grown up children are now to think about what year this was. And it would have been... 1979, round about then, when I was given this opportunity to go to this mystery school, which went on for about, I'm trying to think, a year, maybe two years that I went regularly to. But we were taught real um, information on how really our human technology works. I would have to say it. It, it was like from that point, this was not intellectual. This was things that we then went and practiced every day in our lives. And, and this was the disciplines that my spiritual path were built on. And one of them was the awareness exercise. Now, the awareness exercise is a very simple exercise, which I will put on a video. But we were then taught extensions of that. And they have really been helpful in my life they have built my life to what it is now really and where I sit within my own being so this little exercise of listening to the sound of somebody's voice and especially when there's a conflicting situation going on is an amazing um, exercise so maybe it's useful for you to do when you're listening to this which is number 32 truth testament number 32 we would like to take this opportunity to add more flavour and variety to the messages that we usually impart. We're going to impart to you more on the issue of time. Time is something that is no longer going to be very important to any of you as the final episodes of Earth Changes occur on your Earth domain. These times are indeed ones of the final clarion call. This call is one that all of you will hear, but many may not respond to the call. We call because we can. We call because the more you hear the calling, the more likely you are to survive the final clearance on your earth domain. The clarion call is much like when you receive an alert to tell you that something is about to occur. We call because we can. We call when we are able to. Our call to you is one to uplift your spirits to the highest vibration that you can hold within your systems. If you do this, it will be so much easier for you to understand what is occurring within your earth domain. When you are vibrationally alert and vibrationally aligned to your highest frequency, then you are not in any way involved in fear. You will be aligned with the now moment and can understand what is occurring from that level of vibrancy and frequency. This is the only way that will ease this occurrence. It cannot be eased in any other way. It is impossible because if you are still standing within your pure or your purely human entity, you will not understand the energetic happenings. When the earth domain is returned to the frequency of its original blueprint, then you will be able to align energetically with that frequency. It is better if you have primed your energetic system to be already aligned with a much higher frequency. 
This will enable the changeover to be as easily assimilated. Does this not make sense? If you try to convert a piece of electro electrical equipment to another higher electrical charge without changing the system within the equipment, then it will overload. If you overload when you are carrying an extremely low frequency, the damage is irreparable. If you overload when carrying a frequency of a much higher as aspect, then you will not receive severe interference, but will recover after a period of your so-called time. So time, as you know it, will be expanded fourfold. It will become as if there is no time. You will indeed be in a sense of no time. This aspect of these changes which will occur are only part of the expansion of the entire complexity of your earth domain. In two parts, we will explain how this appears and comes to be. It is all to do with frequency changes which will occur on a much higher level. As these occur, so the whole entire earth domain expands on a dimensional level. There are not two different earths. This is one of the explanations being attempted to be dispersed throughout your internet forces. It is not true. How can there be two earths? This is one earth going through the throes and expansion of its lifetime. It will always be one earth. It has always been the one and only earth domain. Why would we need two earths when we have the frequency ability to expand and raise the earth back to her true blueprint? As this expansion takes place on a frequency level, then other types of closed systems that only work on a 3D level will be phased out. This does not occur immediately. It occurs as the frequency levels balance and become very pure. This is when there will be no more time, as you have known it. It will not occur overnight, but will be blurred and more easily forgotten. You already have moments of timelessness when you are more aligned and highly attuned. This occurs because of your frequency. It is the same with your earth domain. It does not occur in one flash of attunement. This attunement will be a longer occurring action, which will eventually produce complete timelessness. It will not be called this because by this time, those on your earth domain will not have any reason to call it this. This is the same when you experience those brief times when you realize you have been in a timeless zone yourselves. You just feel the peace and healing of it. During these up and coming periods of frequency attunement, you will be in and out of this so-called timelessness. This will not be a problem. It is just a refining of your systems to accept totally the higher frequencies. The more important problems will occur if, by this time, your own frequency is too low to accept the higher frequencies. This is why much of our talks with you are about making sure that your physical, mental, emotional and spiritual levels are taking the higher pathways. We have given you many ideas of how to do this and can recap for you on these. When you make sure that your physical body can accept the higher frequencies, you do this by purifying your digestive system and allowing only the natural elements to be used on your bodies and in the areas that you breathe the air. Pollution when you are outside is but a small part of the pollution that goes into your body. When you are in homes that contain a myriad of chemicals and obnoxious substances, usually there because you buy them and allow yourselves to then constipate your breathing channels and the cells of your bodies. When it comes to the emotional field that you have around your bodies, these too are constipated when you do not balance your emotions out and do the work to heal your past experiences. If you do not do this, then these experiences are seen as dark spots within your auric field and define how and when you react in your lives and do not respond on a compassionate and loving level. 
When we see the mental field of your auric lines, then we can see where you are convinced by the lower level thoughts in your mind and only take action from these thoughts. When you are motivated by a higher calling, these lines grow lighter and do not affect your actions. When we see the auric field of one that has done the work and made less of the lines in their auric field, then we are able to contact these people more successfully and more often. We cannot do this when your auric fields are full of dark, confining thought patterns. Just let the motorbikes go past. Talking about dark things, that's certainly a dark noise in, in the midst of this um, prologue here. I'll repeat that. We cannot do this when your auric fields are full of dark, confining thought patterns and dark emotional circles of resistance, fear and sadness. When someone is happy, positive, believing in their higher connection, then the way through to them is not like a force field of resistance, but is more like a force field of liberation and acceptance. We will speak again of these things, but today is a day of make sun while the sun shines. Whilst you still remember our words, work on these issues in your own systems so that these frequency changes do not occur when you are not clear enough to accept them. We are here for you. Are you clear enough to be here for us? We do not speak in jest. We speak because we know this is where you want to be, but you are not all taking the actions quickly enough to be completely adjusted before this clarion call begins. Thank you for listening today.